In this lecture, we're going to have a look at the business analysis as a career option. We do have a lot many professions out there like the, um, like the doctors, lawyers, and teachers, for instance. Where does business analysis fit in, in the context of these different careers? Well, unlike all these other stable careers, business analyst career is also stable. I'm not saying it's not, but it's just that the business analysis profession has evolved from being a, a very uh, selective and very specific niche area to that of a commonplace career option nowadays. If you really look at the business analysis career about a few decades ago, it was not much of a, an analyst, not much of a continuous and permanent position that was um, provided to the uh, employees, but rather it was more of a, come have a look at it as a consultant. And then once the initial requirements are written and done, you are, you know, you can, you can go. So that's more of a temporary uh, position that was initially um, provided for the analysts. But thankfully, over the last few decades, the role of business analyst has emerged as a more important and as a more value add uh, profession. And that's exactly the reason why we have a lot of business analysts in many sectors, many industries. For example, from banking, we've got retail, manufacturing, to name a few. The business analysis profession has become more attractive for angsters and the graduates to consider because there are a lot of options being provided for apprenticeship and for initial engagement with the banks and, and multinational organizations. We typically start off trying to understand the processes, the strategies, and the operations at the very basic level. And then from there on, we build our career ahead. And that's exactly the reason we have a junior analyst, an analyst, and then we become a senior business analyst. And from there on, it's about getting to multiple different other roles or continuing that with, for example, the lead business analyst, and then eventually becoming the chief business analyst or the head of business analysis. And from there on, we have multiple options, either to become uh, a solution architect and become go into the solution side, or to get into the project management and then get into the program management, the portfolio management, so on and so forth. Or we can try and become more of a product-oriented person um, to look at that from the point of view of a product manager, a product director, and then become eventually the, 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 the product uh, evangelist, so to say. So we do have multiple um, options as business analysts as we progress into our career. Also, another aspect to consider is the attractive pay and the perks available for business analysis professionals. The compensation and the remuneration offered by the top companies for business analysis professionals is really good and very attractive considering the entry stages. And as you progress, with about five years plus or even about 10 years of experience, you are definitely in the upper bracket in terms of the, the pay and the perks that are offered uh, for both permanent as well as consulting or contracting positions. In terms of perks, one of the important aspects that need to be looked at is the opportunities available for going places and for meeting people and for ensuring that you are in touch with the um, with the stakeholders, with the key stakeholders who are both internal to the organization as well as external. So you would have a loads of opportunities to travel, to make sure that you arrange meetings, to organize meetings and participate in them with the vendors, the customers, users, and of course the regulator and, and some of the other external competitors as well sometimes. So um, definitely there are a lot of perks out there um, for being business analysis professional. And uh, the important thing that needs to be considered is the longevity of the contract or, the, or the, whether it is a permanent role or the contract or the consulting role. Whatever it is, as a business analysis professional, you would tend to bring value and, and to deliver the value quickly in this context of agile development and agile practices that we now have. It's really important that we hit the road running and that's important because we are expected to deliver value 
either to the processes, through the products or the business strategies right from the day one. And that's where the experience and the expertise of uh, senior business analysis professionals would come in handy. And that's where the mentoring and, and ensuring that the skills are being passed across from one level to the other level that would really help. And uh, that's where we need to really either be mentors ourselves or we should be able to really approach someone who is senior to us to be able to seek some kind of advice or solicit some kind of a help or support in whatever we want to do. And please bear in mind that there are a lot of different uh, avenues and different uh, support mechanisms that are available nowadays. Uh, we do have a lot of forums, we have a lot of platforms, um, and of course discussion groups, as well as formal um, aspects like the IIBA, uh, BA Box, for instance, as well as the BCS, the, uh, and in terms of providing the syllabus, providing the structure and the methods and tools and techniques that would really help us to get from the stage where we are to progress our career and help us to become better business analysis professionals. Mm -hmm.